card, you scurvy swag. Tis me, Captain Four, and today we're gonna review the lighthouse. Yarg! Twas a long and stormy night on the sea. It was me and me boat, the worm's vagina. That's what I called me boat. We had been out on sea for months. Hadn't seen land, nor land for months and months. It was all quiet on the sea, I thought. And then a storm rushed us from the harbor, like that of a burly man in the prison. Pack of cigarettes for our shank. Suddenly, the Kraken bared down upon us. It took me eye, it did. And I was all. Crap! My eye! Ah! Okay, now I can see. So anyway, I was a pirate for a short stint. Yeah. And uh, believe me, it's not an easy life. You're like, floating around in the creek, and like you come across somebody else's campsite, and you try to like pillage them and stuff. They get really mad about that, and they throw burning hot marshmallows at you, and that really sucks when it hits you in the nipple. Ouch. Seriously. So yeah, just don't pillage people when uh, you're at like the lake and stuff. Yeah. And then the, the ranger guy shows up and then things get really awkward to try and explain how you're a pirate. Yeah. Anyway, oh, you're, fi you're fine for that. It's also like, wow, outrageous. And then you have to become a pirate just to pay the fine for being a pirate. Seriously, it's stupid. That's piracy. Like, seriously, finding pirates for being pirates is piracy. You're a pirate. I'm gonna go ahead and start this off with a few things. One, surprisingly, it was a good movie. I thought, how good of a movie could it possibly be having sparkly Batman here and William Dafoe, one of the greatest actors of all time, possibly be the only two actors in a movie about two men falling in love in a lighthouse? Like the Brokeback Mountain of today. Okay, that's what it is. You follow the adventures of old Krabby McCrabberson and young I uh, killed people McKillerson as they drunkenly adventure on to I don't even know. Uh, you start to really wonder what's what and who's who and then you just come to discover that, you know, they're just drunk and way too much masturbation. And there's a fish vagina. Well, technically it's a mermaid vagina. They did a really good job on that effect. I applaud them and masturbated, but um, seriously, it was awkwardly awkward that moment when it popped on the screen and I was all, huh, yeah, that's a thing that just happened. Everybody kept screaming about the lighthouse being Cthulhu based and HP Lovecraft and all that crap. Now keep in mind, I never knew shit about H.P. Lovecraft for the longest time until I started telling people about my own religious beliefs and then they went, oh my god, you must be an H.P. Lovecraft fan. I'm like, who? They're like, H.P. Lovecraft, H.P. Lovecraft, H.P. Lovecraft. I'm like, I don't even know who that is. So I watched a couple of movies, and I'm like, huh, I can understand why people would think what I say is similar to H.P. Lovecraft. Um, no, not at all. Uh, this movie has nothing to do with Lovecraft at all. And I've come to realize stuff that in modern uh, Lovecraftian, obsessive, sci-fi nerds, whatever, everybody says... Oh my god, it takes me Lovecraft because there's a tentacle in it or a half fish person in it. You guys do realize that that shit's been around forever, right? Poseidon Neptune. was around before H.P. Lovecraft and the Cthulhu Mythos crap, right? It was a thing. Fish people, mermaids, mm. all that kind of crap was around in folklore way before that ever popped up in H.P. Lovecraft stuff. Just because it has fish people, just because it has tentacles, does not mean it's H.P. Lovecraft. Shut up! Point two! Just because it's about madness doesn't mean it's H.P. Lovecraft. Shut up! Okay? You know, people can go crazy without it being the Elder Gods and mm, H.P. Lovecraft and Cthulhu. Shut up! Guys, seriously, shut up! If anything, this is Edgar Allan Poe territory, okay? My wife actually thought this out and it blew my mind. Blew my mind! You got things like the raven driving people crazy. Well, here you had seagulls driving people crazy. Okay. 
uh, the the darkness, the poetic way it was written, the way it plays out, all of it, very Edgar Allan Poe-esque. The telltale heart, the stuff about the guilt, the stuff about how it haunts him, all that going into madness. From that, very Edgar Allan Poe-esque. Way more than just, hey guys, hey guys, he went crazy and there was like a tentacle in it. It's H.P. Lovecraft. <laughs> You're like the Kyles and the Chads of the sci-fi world. No. Stop it. Cut that shit out. So The Lighthouse, right, is actually a really good movie. It's like three, four days long. I don't get it. Um, but it was watchable for the time it lasted. I didn't think it was going to be. I was like, oh my god, this thing's going to drag on forever. But it kept me entertained. Um, similar to the movie The Headhunter. It had minimal cast, too. And it still utilized, like, uh, the, the, the nature became a cast member. The seagulls were a cast member. You know, it utilized the story as a cast member itself. It wasn't just, like, two guys talking. William Defoe, seriously, dude is amazing. Um, Robert Paddington Bear uh, did a good job also. I don't know how the Batman thing's going to work out for him. I don't. I'm not sure. I'll give him, you know, a chance. But William Defoe should definitely be the Joker. I'm sick of these Joker recasts and, oh my god, Jared Leto, come on! <laughs> that kind of a Joker was... Oh, garbage. Uh, the new Joker that just came out, well, that was amazing. I, I give them props on that one. William Defoe as a Joker, I think, would be epic. And I would love to see those two on screen together again. I think it could work wonders. A great fall into madness because you're left alone in a place for a, a expended amount of time like, you don't know how long they're there they don't know how long they're there they start questioning if it's been a day a week a month two they don't know they miss the boat their boat misses them they don't know things go wrong alcoholism ensues they're drinking kerosene they're like oh and then they like almost make out then they beat each other up then they might beat each other off. I'm not sure, but a lot of weird stuff happens. That's for sure. Um, you know, you spilled the beans. You spilled the beans. You shouldn't spill the beans. It gets crazy, and it's good. So, The Lighthouse. Man, I'm going to give it like a solid 8 out of 10. Um, I would definitely watch it. You get the chance. I think it's free on Prime right now. Or Netflix? Or Netflix Prime? Optimus Prime Netflix.com? Find me on all of your favorite social sites and join my insanity! Whee! Okay, look what I made!